Hola. Hola. This is a, a podcast from Lightspeed Spanish, and today we're dealing with some really, really interesting verbs. Da, Which da, da. ones? I have my book here. Okay, Cynthia. The Book of Wisdom. Absolutely. Now, we've got, um, we're going to do a series of four um, podcasts, and these are all suggestions from our students, our, from our followers, or our, the people who... Our followers. Our followers. Oh. I don't know. How do you say it? <laughs> <laughs> the Western seguidores. Okay. That's so funny. Off, okay, but the people who actually yes. are, are, are watching our videos, they've sent us I some suggestions. I think you can say followers, but it's just sounds Perhaps. funny. Yeah, but I don't sounds mean like in a Jesus. religious, not in a religious way. Okay, um, just interested followers. If you were called Jesus, it would be funny. This joke. And you were talking about your followers. <laughs> and I'm not. I'm called Gordo, which is completely yeah. different. Yeah. Okay, Thindia, we're going to deal with to move. In all of the senses, this comes from Michael Smith, okay, also known no, as Michael Smithingtons Worthily. Exactly, from Facebook and yeah. from Michael who helps us with our website and everything. Fantastic man that he is. Now, move. So let's start with some basic stuff, okay, to move, because we've got reflexive verbs in there, they're not reflexive. Move house, which verb is it going to be? To move house in Spain is mudarse. mudarse mudarse de casa okay so it has a preposition on a de and then it's reflexive mudarse de casa so could you give us a sentence for example oh last week he moved house la semana pasada se mudó de casa you don't need to say de casa you don't need that it's, it's intrinsic in, the, in the, the verb that he's moved house uh -huh. okay um, and then what about this are you going to move house this weekend? Vas a mudarte este fin de semana. Vas a mudarte. Is okay. it possible to say? Te vas say? a mudar este okay. fin de semana. So it's interesting you can put the te at the beginning or at the end. Yes. Yeah. All right. Excellent. So moving house is fairly straightforward. Okay. So it's just mudarse de casa. Reflexive verb. Reflexive. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about if you were going to move, and this is where this came from, we're going to move the website from one place to another. Vamos a mover. Mover. I would say mover. Mover el Maybe sitio you could web. Maybe mudar no? también. I don't know, mudar, mover. Okay, so both of them sound okay to you. I would go for mover. Mover. More than so mudar for. We're, we're, going to, we're going to move the website from one place to another. How would that be? Voy a mover mi página web de un sitio a otro. Perfecto. Gracias. Okay, so that's moving, just literally moving something. Tong, tong, sí. mover, no? Um, what about if you're going to move company? Uh, then it would be cambiar. Yeah, because we don't, they don't really say that in Spanish. I'm going to move company, no? No, cambiar, they literally move change. the company, yeah. Sí. So, so how would you say that? Um, in the sentence? I'm, really? I'm going to uh, move company. Voy a cambiarme de compañía. O me voy a cambiar de compañía. Ah, so it's cambiarse, reflexive, yeah? Eh, voy a cambiarme, sí, reflexivo. Voy cambiarse. a cambiarme de compañía. And again, with de, yeah? De compañía, sí. Yeah, okay, excellent. Um, what about this one? <laughs> um, I'm moving myself, <laughs> yeah? Well, you can say sacudirse. Which is to shake, yeah? Like a dog does it, yeah? Uh-huh. Um, any other oh, ones? Oh, you can say, muévete, moverse. Moverse, so, move. me muevo. Me muevo, me sacudo. Me sacudo. What about, um, the dog shook itself? El perro se sacudió. Se sacudió. Okay. So that's the act of moving, it's... Uh, yeah, like... Yeah. It's more like a shake, isn't uh -huh. it? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. And if you want to say to somebody, come on, move yourself. Venga, muévete. Muévete. Literally, move yourself. Yeah? Muévete. Sí. Do you say that very often? Um, yeah. Pff, almost every day to you. <laughs> es cierto. Eh? Muévete, Gordon. Muévete. <laughs> Levántate. Gordon en el ordenador. Sí. Muévete. Sí. Uh, ok. No. no, no tanto, ¿no? No, no tanto. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> ok. What about this one? The wind moved the leaves. Hot in here now. Sí. The wind moved Porque the leaves. Sí, es el, 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 el viento 
movió, sacudió las hojas. So movió. So it's, it's not reflexive. O it's, sacudió. It's the wind doing something to something else, so it can't be reflexive. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. movió, sacudió. Sí. Okay. All right. So when remember the rule with with reflexive and non-reflexive verbs, reflexive verbs the action is only happening within the, the group of people or the person that's that you're referring to. As soon as somebody is acting upon something else, it's not reflexive. It can't be. Okay. Bien. Um, what about um, so moving your body? So moverse, yeah. Moverse de cuerpo or moverse el cuerpo. Mover el cuerpo. Mover el cuerpo. Okay. So it's not reflexive. Then. No, because you're moving their body, so you're moving something else, which is their body. Unless you say, I move myself, without using the noun body. Because if you say, I move their body, then oh, there's okay. a noun. So then, then it becomes one thing acting on another. Then it's like you, you were moving body. Their, body, their body, not yourself. Okay. I know it's, it's still yourself, but yeah. in grammar construction, it wouldn't be yourself. For example, you could say, Oh, he estado aquí mucho rato. Tengo que moverme un poco. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've got to move myself a little bit. Sí, yeah? correcto. But if you're going to move your hand, for example, how would you say that? Mover la mano. Mover la mano. Okay, so non-reflexive. No. Okay, so let's let's do a little bit of um, uh, movements. So, okay. stand up. What's that one? Levántate. Is it a command? No, if we do the oh. full verb, yeah? Eh, levantarse. Levantarse. Okay. So that can be stand up and that can also be get up, can't sí. it? How do you differentiate it? Well, Just in if context. I'm sitting down and you said to me, levántate, it's not going to be wake up. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it okay, so completely depends on context, isn't it? Por la mañana me levanto a las ocho. Can you not can say, can you get up? And if you're just sitting down, or I have to say stand up. Yeah, we can say get up as well. It's the same then. Yeah. Uh, but we just, if we want somebody to estar de pie, then then we say stand up. Okay, so if you're sitting down and I said to you, Con, will you get up? And then I say, Con, will you stand up? What movement will you do with both? The same. Well, the same. Gordon, levantate. Levantate. Can you not say ponte de pie? Yes, ponte de pie. Mm -hmm. Okay, which is stand up. Stand up. That will be at least really yeah. stand up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bien. What about this one then? Sit down. Uh, the full verb? Yeah. Sentarse. Sentarse. Okay. So, and the, the command is? Uh, for you, siéntate. Yeah. What about this one? He sat. Se sentó. Se sentó. Mm. There's a bit of confusion with sentarse and sentirse. Lots of people go, Absolutely. sentarse or sentirse? Yeah. Sentirse, be careful with that one, because to feel... Sentirse is to feel oneself, but it could, if you're a bit, you know, dirty-minded like I am, it could be to feel yourself. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. And the confusion is, is when you say, I feel something or I sit. Me siento. Me siento. Yeah. Ah, it's the same. Me siento. Same. Yeah. That's where the, feel, that's the where the mm -hmm. confusion. Apart from that, there shouldn't really be any confusion because the A R I R verbs. Sí. Yeah. Okay. Bien. What about this one? To lie down, or to lay down. To lie down or to lay down. Yes, we can say lay down. Yeah. Ah. Um. Is that not the past tense? No. It, it, it's a it's a dual thing. You can say I'm I'm going to lay down. I'm going to lie down. We just have a, we can say... Okay, um, tumbarse. Tumbarse. Like okay. it, you, you have the, the word tomb. In to, yeah, yeah, that's how I remember <laughs> it, yeah. To lie down in a tomb. In form, a tomb, yeah. Yeah. Not for that long. Okay, no. Hopefully. No. Well, hopefully you're going to get it. <laughs> Tumbate, <yeah>. forever. <laughs> y voy a levantarme después, no? Okay. Um, also, I hear the verb echarse. Um, echarse. Yeah, to, to lie down as well. Echate. Ah, you can say échate, but it, yes, you can say échate, échate, un momento. Yeah. Um, o tumbate. Echarse, yes, it can, be, it can be used in that context, but it can also mean échate, um, in brackets, una siesta. Yes. Échate un poco ahí. Like, yeah. go to sleep, basically. Yeah. 
And That's why I hear it, boy, I chat me una siesta. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But you can also mean just um, in the context. Yeah. Lie down. Lie down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Excellent. What about this one? Bend over. To bend over is um, agacharse. 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 So it's that act, yeah? Only, yeah? Going forward. Yes. Agacharse. This way is agacharse. Okay. Because we have this conversation. Or, or like this. Yeah. Or this way. Okay. So I got you, I'd say, go down like this. But then we've got, um, all right, so bend over. So in English, that can be going forward like this, but it also can be like that, to one side. Okay, that would be inclinarse. Inclinarse. Uh -huh. So You can say inclinarse hacia adelante. Uh -huh. Inclinarse hacia la derecha, o hacia la izquierda, o hacia atrás. Hacia atrás, okay. So it's just to incline, isn't it? We have sí. the word incline, incline yourself. Yeah? Okay. Or agacharse. Agacharse could be like this way. Okay. Or this way as well. All right. So just it's going down into, in some man, uh, manera. Uh -huh. Some manera. Some, some manera. <laughs> manera. Some manera. In some way. Ding. Some form. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fine. -ish. Okay. And then the last one. What about this one? To squat. Um, that's ponerse en o de cuclillas. Cuclillas. Ponerse de Cuclillas. Or N, depends and, and I'm saying squat, but I think that uh, in the United States, I think they say hunker down. Yes, I yeah? like that. Hunker yeah. down, yeah. It's, hunker it's, down. Going, it's going down. Right. I can't do it, down. I fall over. <laughs> eh? Sounds more serious. Hunker down, yeah. Hunker down. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we, we the, I think they say hunker down. We, in that position, I, I, when I was a kid, I would say I was on my honkers. Ah. Uh -huh. Because okay. I'm That's hunkered weird. down. Hunkered, yeah, but. I don't know, I think that might be a bit colloquial. Okay, Cynthia, so we've got most of the movement uh, done there, I think. Great. Ah, okay, entonces, tenemos que movernos un poco porque sí. tenemos el próximo eh, podcast. Muy bien, pues hasta el próximo podcast. Hasta el próximo. Hasta luego. Nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Adiós. Adiós.